Hi, my name is Victoria. Uh, I'm 21 years old and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my personal experience um, applying to universities in the U.S. as an international student and applying to community colleges um, and ultimately enrolling and telling a little bit about my experience as a community college student. So uh, to give a little bit of context, um, I'm from Venezuela and Colombia. Um, and ever since I was very little, my dad um, had a job where he got transferred a lot and we were constantly moving um, to different countries and different cities around the world. Um, because of his job and um, his career. So um, when I was two years old, I moved to for the first time. I was born in Venezuela. And when I was two years old, I moved to Colombia. And I, at the time, I kind of just went to um, daycare and I was very little, so I didn't go to school yet. Um, um, but then, when I was four years old, um, my family and me moved to Houston, Texas, in the U.S. Um, and so I was already four or five years old. And I um, started going to preschool in the U.S. And I started uh, to learn English. So. Um, that's where I really started learning English because my first language is Spanish. Um, and after that, um, we kept moving to different countries um, like Brazil and Peru and um, Colombia again. Um, but my parents always kind of put me and my siblings um, in international schools and American schools that adopted the American curriculum and were bilingual. So I basically grew up um, going to school um, in English and um, I had like a lot of American teachers growing up. Um, and so that's how I like became bilingual and um, got used to the American education system um, and so when I got into high school I kind of knew that if I attended an American school my entire life and my entire um, school um, school life um, I wanted to you know continue with that and go to college and university in the US and so uh, when I was around 17 in my junior year of high school, um, I decided to apply to the US and Canada. Um, and I applied to uh, Florida International University uh, in Florida. And I applied to University of Calgary in Canada. Um, and basically, um, my SAT scores, to be honest, weren't that great. I'm not good at taking standardized, standardized tests. And it's not because I don't know the content or because like I don't understand. Um, the the topics and or any of that it's because um, I kind of need more time um, to process the information and to kind of demonstrate my knowledge um, to me the SAT was and other standard tests are very fast paced um, and I kind of just need a little bit more time um, and I just demonstrate my knowledge in, in other ways. So for me, the SAT wasn't the way or the best way um, for me to um, demonstrate my academic abilities. 
Um, so I ended up getting a a, a ten ten. I think. Uh, I think ten ten was my score in the SAT. Um, so that was not not good. Um, and I, for that reason, I got listed at FIU. Um, at Florida International University. Um, however, um, I got accepted to uh, the University of Calgary in Canada because um, in Canada they don't require standardized tests and they don't require the SAT or anything like that. Um, they just looked at my high school grades and my extracurriculars and other factors, so that helped a lot and I was accepted. Um, and I was kind of very excited to go and very, you know, like it was kind of my dream. Like honestly, ever since I was a freshman, I, um, I always knew I wanted to go to college in the US. And it was like one of my biggest dreams. Um, and I just wanted to kind of be independent and live in the US or in North America. And, um, uh, go to college and live in a dorm and make friends and all of that. Um, so I wanted to have that experience and, you know, throughout high school, going to college in the U.S. or in North America or, in, uh, yeah, the U.S. or Canada, uh, became basically, like, my dream. And... Uh, so I got very pumped and like very excited when I got accepted to University of Calgary, uh, and basically um, I I applied for the I applied for the fall twenty twenty uh, semester. I had graduated in in the summer of twenty nineteen. Um, but at the time, um, my family was moving to Colombia again, and we were living in Venezuela up to that point, and we were moving to Colombia again, and my parents kind of didn't want me to leave for college, and while they were moving to Colombia at the same time, because like, we were all moving to different places, and it was a little bit chaotic. And so then going to Colombia and moving and um, finding an apartment and then me moving into college and by myself. Um, so they decided to um, that it would be best for me to wait uh, and to take a semester off. Um, and so originally I had planned um, to apply for spring 2020. However, um, I didn't realize that in Canada, um, you can't, uh, you can't kind of, um, start, uh, start your university career, um, in the sp spring semester, you have, like, you kind of have to start, um, in the fall semester. Um, you can't begin in the spring semester, so that meant that I would have to wait like an entire year, um, and not just um, not just a semester like I had planned to. So um, during that time, I worked at a call center uh, here in Colombia, um, and I just kind of yeah got got a job. Um, and earned a little bit of money during that time. Um, and then um, I applied and I got accepted to the University of Calgary for fall, uh, fall 2020. And um, the issue was um, my family could honestly not afford um, sending me to the University of Calgary and um, could not fund my studies because um, tuition was about twenty thousand uh, dollars a year, which is very expensive, and um, my family doesn't have that kind of money. 
and so in order to attend I had to get like a um, significant amount of scholarships and um, aid to attend um, and you know I applied to all of the scholarships that I could and that I um, was able to apply to um, and you know I kind of had confidence in myself because I have very good grades and like I had very um, strong extracurricular activities and um, the university like sent me an email saying that I was like a strong applicant and that they identified me as a strong applicant um, and so you know I kind of thought that I could you know get a scholarship and uh, go to Canada uh, however I ended up getting um, a scholarship that's worth a thousand dollars and with the uh, the entire school year um, costing nearly twenty thousand a thousand dollars was honestly not gonna help much and tuition was still gonna be like very 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 expensive um, so for that reason um, I was not able to attend and I kind of found that found that out that I hadn't I found out that I hadn't earned um, enough scholarships or enough aid uh, to attend um, U Calgary uh, in around May uh, 2020 and um, you know, the, the fall semester was uh, fast approaching and at that point I had been out of high school and um, without studying for an entire year and my parents were like no you, like, you need to to continue studying like if you can't go to Canada you need to enroll um, in university here in Colombia um, but the truth is I didn't want to. I didn't want to go to university here in Colombia. I wanted to go to the U.S. or go to Canada. Um, but unfortunately, it was very expensive and I, I just was not able to. Um, and so, honestly, it kind of, at the moment, gave me a lot of anxiety and kind of broke my heart because it was one of my, you know, my biggest dreams. Um, and... I wasn't able to do that. Um, so I enrolled in university here in Colombia. Um, and I enrolled as a music major um, because music has always been one of my passions. And although I had originally intended to study anthropology, um, music was also something that I was very passionate about and I thought that uh, the music curriculum uh, was stronger here in Colombia than the anthropology curriculum and that it was a better option for me to study uh, here in Colombia. So I ended up just going for music and I um, studied music for a year, so two semesters. And honestly, it was one of the most stressful years of my life. Um, like I took, I don't know why the curriculum told me to take 17 credits at each semester. And that was kind of a disaster, like a total disaster. I was way too overwhelmed. Um, I didn't even know how I was going to turn anything, everything in, in t on time. Um, I, I didn't know what I was going to do and I was super stressed and super, super overwhelmed. Um, and so after my first semester, I decided, you know, I would try again and apply to Calgary again and apply for other scholarships once again. Um, and so I, that's what I did. 
and I applied again for the fall 2021 semester. Um, and yeah, I applied for fall 2021. And you know, I just kept studying and um, kept going to college. Um, and in May 2021, uh, again, I find out that I had been admitted once again to the University of Calgary. Um, but just like the last time, I didn't receive the necessary aid, um, monetary aid to attend. So, you know, I was kind of in the same position um, like I was the first time I applied. And, you know, I just kind of got like extremely devastated in a way and I knew it would be kind of hard for me to go to university in the US not only because of my SAT scores um but also because uh universities in the US were as expensive as uh the ones in Canada or maybe even more so I know I knew that um university in the US uh, was not like a viable option for me either um, and then I kind of remember that um, that my counselor in high school had talked to us about community college um, and had talked to us um, that it was kind of a cheaper option and that you could start there and then transfer to the university and I kind of remember that and I was like well that could maybe be a good option and I kind of started researching um, and investigating more about community colleges um, and at that time it was already like summer yeah the summer of 2021 and um, I, you know, decided I'm going to apply to community college, you know, it's much more affordable and it might be a great option for me to, to study in the U.S. Um, and that's what I did. So I have family in three uh, cities in the U.S. I have family in Houston, Texas. I have family in Atlanta, Georgia and family in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, so because of my family being in those three cities, I decided to apply to community college in those three places. Um, and so I kind of began looking for community colleges um, in, that, in those areas. And I decided to apply to Houston Community College in Houston, Texas, um, Georgia State University Perimeter College in Atlanta, Georgia, and Phoenix College in Phoenix, Arizona. And um, around July, I found out I had got accepted to Houston Community College and so I was like well that's, you know that's great um, um I will you know be attending college next uh next semester in the U.S. and like everything's gonna be fine and then I applied to Georgia State University Perimeter College and Phoenix College and around uh, October and November I found out that I got admitted to both of them and at first um, I knew I preferred I knew I preferred either Phoenix College or Georgia State University Perimeter College um, Houston Community College was kind of my last option um, and I kind of just started looking for rankings and looking for 
um, uh, you have different rankings and different community college uh, listings and kind of trying to find out which one was better technically um, and then after considering it for a long time uh, I decided to go to Phoenix College in Phoenix, Arizona and so I applied or had applied for the spring 2022 semester um, and by then I was already um, 20 years old and you know going into my first semester of college um, and it kind of felt like I had wasted two years of my life but but I tried not to focus so much on that um, and so I just um, I just applied for spring 2022 and um, after I got admitted and I chose Phoenix College um, I kind of just had to do some placement exams I had to take some placement exams um, I think they were for like math and English to kind of place me into the appropriate English course and math course. Um, and so I did that. It was honestly, um, the English one for me was not that hard. Like um, I did well on it, but the math one was kind of, a struggle because I'm not that good at math <laughs> like math is one of the areas that I struggle with and I never failed math or anything but um, out of all the subjects it's the one that's hardest for me um, and I had been out of school for <laughs> for two years at that point and I was like I don't remember anything <laughs> that I, about <sighs> about high school math and so I just kind of had to study for the placement test and kind of refresh my memory and ask my brother who's, who's in high school to help me <laughs> with some of the questions um, but yeah I mean I ultimately mm, took the placement exams and I at the, in the end I did well in both of them and I placed into you know regular college level uh, courses um, and honestly in order to get admitted like even as an international student they didn't ask me for much they asked me for my transcripts for my high school diploma um, for a copy of my passport or identity document but yeah since I'm an international student I don't have um, an American ID I so I used my passport, um, and I, oh, and I had to fill out like an application uh, with my uh, information and um, with the program I wanted to study and I chose anthropology this time because I, you know, that's what I originally wanted to study. Um, so it was pretty easy, the application process was pretty easy and to be honest, the advisors and the um, recruitment people and the international officer and you know and all the people who helped me apply and enroll like were very 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 kind like they were super welcoming super kind super lovely um, and that automatically like made me love Phoenix College um, from the very beginning <laughs> and um, at first I had planned to you know attend Phoenix College in person um, and you know move to the US from Colombia and you know get my student visa uh, however um, a few months prior I had been diagnosed with 
OCD um, and so my family wanted me to get treatment for that um, for my obsessive compulsive disorder and they wanted me to get better and um, to um, have you know a significant improvement um, before moving on my own and you know moving again by myself um, so I decided to start my uh, education virtually so I enrolled in online classes at Phoenix College for you know spring 2022 and um, everything went smoothly and this past January um, I started my semester and so far it has been great honestly like I have had absolutely no problems and I have kind of enjoyed it a lot um, it hasn't been difficult for me personally um, like I, I feel like um, it isn't that much harder than high school like for me and I've been doing well and I actually um, I, I've been getting all A's in my classes so so that honestly has me really happy um, yeah, I've been able to get all A's, and even though they're still about four weeks, about a month left for the semester to be, um, to be over, uh, I have all A's, and I hope to keep it like that until the end of the semester in a few weeks. <laughs> um, but yeah, it has been a great experience. All the professors have been super, super lovely and super, super kind, just like the uh the advisors and just like the um enrollment staff and everybody at phoenix college honestly i've had an amazing experience um and i have loved it so far and the truth is i had planned to go in person uh and move to phoenix this uh this coming fall in August but due to you know kind of logistic and personal reasons um, I'm not gonna be able to go in person in the fall either I will have to postpone it again until next spring um, and hopefully I will not have to keep postponing it but um, I hope that I will be able to attend in person next January um, but yeah honestly it has been great and like amazing in so many ways and I have just like loved it so much and I don't I don't know why there's so much stigma behind community college like it's really really amazing and I think, honestly, in a country like Colombia or in my country, like anyone would be so grateful uh, to attend college, college in the U.S., even if it's community college. Um, all education in the in the U.S. is like high quality education, even community college. So I honestly, when I saw how much stigma, um surrounded community college I was kind of taken aback by that I was kind of why is there so much stigma around it like oh like it, it makes no sense um and honestly like I had I did really really well in high school I did a lot of extracurricular activities I played sports um I played sports, I was in my school's tennis club, I did community service, um, I joined a lot of clubs during high school. 
um, I had excellent grades, like almost all A's, like maybe a B here and there, but almost all A's. And I was an excellent student. And I go to community college. Um, like not everyone who goes to community college failed high school or is a bad student or um, is a failure academically. Like again, I did really, really well in high school. And um, I was always like a very good student. Um, so that someone, the fact that someone attends community college doesn't mean that they're less intelligent or that they're, you know, not as good of a student. Um, it has really nothing to do. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to share my experience and I look forward to moving to the US and I look forward to moving to Phoenix. Um, next year and uh, you know I'm very excited about it and I'm very excited um, to finish my semester strong and to you know finish getting better with my OCD so I can um, you know finally move and attend in-person classes and again it has just been like such an amazing amazing experience and it has been like a dream come true um and the only thing left um for this dream to um kind of come true to its fullest extent um is for me to actually move to the u.s and attend in-person classes which hopefully i will be doing soon um and after that, I do plan to transfer to a university. Um, I've been considering Arizona State University. Um, so I plan on transferring um, to complete my bachelor's degree. Because um, at community college, you obviously I get your associates, but I do want to get my bachelor's degree and um, kind of um, go to school the four years uh, that I need to get my bachelor's and I even want to get a master's um, I think it would be a good option for me um, but I mean I'm maybe thinking too far ahead <laughs> but it's okay um, but yeah for now I, um, I plan on getting my associates and then transferring to get my bachelor's degree in anthropology and so I'm very excited and um, you know, going to community college obviously saved me a lot of money and uh, kind of ensured that I can graduate and that I can afford going to school in the U.S. Um, because if it was a community college, I just wouldn't be able to afford it. So, you know, <laughs> that's the end of the video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments or any ex similar experiences that you've had uh, or um, let me know about your personal experience with college or uh, with community college or with university um, or if you're an international student let me know about your experience as well I would love to know that um, so yeah, thank you so much for listening if, if you've listened to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, it's been very long, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you have a great day. And um, again, leave um, any comments that you have and any experiences that you have. Um, below and you know, I will respond as quickly as I can. <laughs>